Today we're going to get into my stupid ass injuries. Yeah, you can start. Should we start with the one uh, on your arm and side? Sure. I mean, it's the most recent, so why not? Sure. My arm is bruised to high hell, and there's a bunch of fucks on my side. Fucks on my side. Um, oh no! This happened. Good thing we have editing. Sunday. Night. <laughs> editing doesn't matter for the podcast. I stepped in sun. It was Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night. Okay. Um, we were at Le Editor's house. I was at Le Editor's house. And we were going to go eat meatloaf. It was right after the vlog. And uh, I climbed up the deck. And the deck broke. And I fell. And it hurt. <gasps> and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> yeah, that's probably all you should say. I held on like a champ, though. Because it broke and I was still holding on. <laughs> Remember f- fucking this one? When I was just sitting in medals class, I cut and I, f- I sliced my... I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it. It's that little cut on the side. Eh, it's a scar now, but whatever. Um, I was sitting and decided to grab a piece of sheet metal without a fucking glove, slit my fucking hand open, and Adels was like, how are you not screaming right now? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you got blood, like, straight up squirting out your hand right now. I'm like, what? I look down and I see uh, my hand's just full of blood, and I'm like, oh... Great. So my mom takes me to the hospital and we get the stitches put in and everything. Little little do we know I'm going to be back there in a few months anyways. Stitches are for pussies. Fuck you. <clears throat> just because you... Oh my god. I was just going to glue it and then my mom's like, No, we need stitches because you're too much of a fucking man whore. Because it's for pussies too. <laughs> we had a... Oh my god. But then, uh... What else? The fact that you almost got shot with my shotgun shell. And I eventually did get shot. Mm. Everybody knows about this one. <laughs> the just... barbed wire scars. I didn't get stitches for that shit. Fuck you. I just patched it up and went on with life. Yeah, I can I can see that. Along with this one. The one that's above my eyebrow that everybody can see from a close angle. That one I got because my grandma used to have a truck with an old metal dashboard. Right? Took it out. <clears throat> I took what out? You're not fucking with my revolver in the school parking lot. Uh, no, not in the parking lot. I was going to shoot Jacob. You're not shooting anybody. I want to shoot Jacob. CO2 powered revolver. Come on. <laughs> No, we gotta wait until we get the CO two powered Nerf <clears throat> guns. No, she had a truck with an old metal dashboard. Ooh. And uh, our aunt Jamie was leaving us, so Grandma threw me in the front. She told Brendan to buckle me up, and then she floored it. Brendan didn't buckle me up. We hit a bump, and I flew up and smacked my head on the dashboard, and it cut open right here. Oh, fuck. And I didn't know what happened. I just had blood start leaking down my face. End up looking like Carrie. <laughs> we were, I was young when it happened. And apparently my grandma... Uh, my mom wanted me to go get stitches because it was deep as shit. But my grandma had the bright idea. Close it. Band-aid. You're good. <laughs> and it worked. Should we, sh- should we tell them about the... You do it. It was your idiocy. We were both idiots. And we both thought it was going to be funny as fuck. I did from a distance. You're the one who was right. All right. So one day, I think it was what? It was Friday. It was Friday last week. We went shooting and we took out our pellet guns. And we decided we wanted to uh, walk around, find shells and stuff. I found a live shotgun round. 12 gauge and everything. We tried shooting at it from our range to hit the primer to get it to go off. And 
we did this for about an hour and it wouldn't work. And so what we did is we we went to one of our tr trenches we dug and uh, put it in there or er, put it on the side and we kept trying to take a little distant shots. I eventually had enough of that and I was like, all right, mother we're gonna just point blanket. I put my barrel of my gun to the primer. I told him it was gonna blow his barrel up. <laughs> I stepped back or I pull it back until it was like on the edge of the dirt and I pull the trigger and shoot and it blows up and everything my barrel the plastic silencer that's on it snapped and broke and then I got ricochet if I can fucking find my hand that little red mark on the fatty part of my hand I got shot in the hand with a BB from it Somebody who knows how to do things, go through all my videos and just make a compilation of me eating. Yes. <laughs> that or the editor, because I know she's going to watch us here soon. The editor. The editor. No, not till Thursday. Yeah, I know. She won't watch it till Thursday, though. But. The podcast doesn't get uploaded until Thursdays. <laughs> and we record on Tuesdays. What the fuck is this? Um. <clears throat> we're going to have her edit, and I really think we should have her do the... It'd be funny for a fucking million subscriber. How, how, do, how does this sound? For a, one of the sa Saturday challenge videos, uh, we put a shot caller on him, and every time he curses, I shock him. Uh, let's not. Do let's, not upvote for that. Yeah. Yeah. I have to do the same thing. If I get... Um, I don't have enough subscribers. If I get two likes, <laughs> then I will put a shot <laughs> collar on him and shock him every time he curses. Oh, I gotta go through and I'll like our videos, because I forgot about that. Don't like our own videos, dumbass. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, uh, Pewdie PewDiePie wants you all to subscribe again, so mm -hmm. do it. Next one. Oh, God. Um, it was, um, I think five years ago, uh, we were at my grandma Patty's and she had this little mini trampoline, you know, mm -hmm. and Kyrie put it up on the hill and she's like, let's have a jumping contest to see who can jump further. So she jumps, she, she's decent, right? And I'm like, okay, I know I can jump further. So I jump <clears throat> and I, I overshot her and I won. And I was running around the backyard because I was happy because I won. And then I woke up. Uh, I hit the clothesline, flipped around it, and knocked myself out on the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And I woke up, and every, my grandma was, had her head on, had my head on her lap, and she was like, it's okay, the paramedics are coming and everything. Because my aunt Kylie freaked out and called the ambulance mm -hmm. so they get there and they all come and surround me and they're shining lights in my eyes and everything and i'm over here like that hurts <laughs> so it's all like, oh. I, that was the day i was supposed to go to brendan's graduation but mm -hmm. um i just stayed home and ate ramen noodles because my head hurt mm -hmm. and so the lighting for this podcast is shit and i'm going to watch it Wow, they little, see me. Little, little change up to the video, just just for today. Okay. Hashtag comment. Ten subscribers for compilation of Tristan and Xander being gay for ten minutes. No. <laughs> I said we're not doing that video. <laughs> Want to know what video needs to happen though? Hmm. Um, we talked about it. It was uh. It was another compilation, but I don't remember what it was. Um, I think it was a compilation of me being a dumb fuck for ten minutes. <clears throat> God, I wish we had the video of me breaking my fingers. That'd be funny. Um, I'll let you tell the story to that one. I don't really remember what happened. <laughs> Fucking thing. God. <clears throat> It was either at the park when we were messing with the hammers, not the hammers, but the sledgehammers and shit, or it was the fucking 
car incident when you ran over my foot. <clears throat> you bitch. That hurt. But... Actually, no, it was the hammer incident when we were just randomly slamming it down on the fucking cement trying to see if we could break it. So, we were trying to break cement. This is back when we were just kids. I wonder if I pull forward if the light will be out of the view. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna try it. You're gonna pull forward in this. We need to fucking clean your truck. Um, we were just kids at the time, messing with sledgehammers, and I, uh... We're still kids, bitch. Well, you're still a kid. Screw you, you're 18. Age review. <laughs> Hashtag. They know that. Re. We gotta go pick up Jacob. Oh, yeah, so... You said 30 or 20. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not getting better. <laughs> well, you just... You made it worse. And you make your you're making yourself look like an idiot. Yeah, no. We'll do this time. Oh Jesus Christ. What? The fact that we're in a moving vehicle making a podcast. Hey, I did it for the first one. Yeah. But uh we were slamming the sledgehammers down on the cement and everything. And I fucking wasn't watching. And Tristan goes down to slam his sledgehammer. And literally shatters my fucking knuckles. Yeah. And so I had. What? Yes. Um, he literally shatters my knuckles, and he's like, "Wait, I've got electrical tape at my house," and he literally electric. He wraps some paper towel around my fingers, and just takes electrical tape and wraps it as tight as he can to keep him straight. I'm like screaming my head off as he does it. And uh yeah, it we was continue talking while we go. Yes. I'm going to drive slowly so the camera does not fall. Yeah, it it was a painful experience. Like it almost compared to his barbed wire incident. I should bring back the crazy stories of my life series, <laughs> but I don't know what day I'd do it since Thursday is for the podcast now. Mm-hmm. Make sure that doesn't fall. Oh well. <clears throat> it's usually when I touch the brakes that it falls. Where the hell is my stegosaurus? I took it down because the camera couldn't go up with it there. Oh. Oh, there was another incident I had. Oh, God. Um, this one was funny. I fucking... We were... I was really young, and we were going ice fishing with my grandpa. <laughs> and my grandma... It was my grandpa, my grandma, and then my cousins. And basically, <clears throat> we were having fun. Uh, Brendan was pulling me and Allie in the wagon. Was fucking fun on the ice. You, as you can imagine. Mm-hmm. And, um, so I had the bright idea to run after the wagon while it was going. The problem is, you run on ice, you can't stop yourself very easily. So I was running, and I slid into a hole. Oh, God. And it didn't hurt anything, but I was fucking cold. (laughs) So I fell through, and it went up to about here, like my waistline. And so grandma, well, we were about to go anyway, but so grandma tells me, take your pants off. We'll bring you home. You don't need to have the cold pants on you. So when we pull up at my house, keep in mind, I'm like six or seven at this time. We pull up at my house and I just get out of the truck in my underwear and walk inside (laughs) because my pant legs were wet and... My pant leg was wet, and I didn't want hyperthermia. There's a black version of my baby. Okay, car. No, Uber. Water in Uber. I don't fucking that get light, paid to drive light you does, assholes that around. That light didn't disappear anyway. Where is that light coming from? What the fuck? I think that's your camera, bro. Whatever, I'll fix it in the next video. How are you gonna fix it? You'll see. Smash the damn phone. Oh, dude, I've done it before. I 
I did it when I, my ex broke my camera. I don't know if she still watches my videos or not. But if you do, you know you did it. <laughs> you know very well that you did it. And you can't deny it. Because I know that you did it. And you know that you did it. And we all know that you did it. This is why he's useful to keep around. Most of them. What the fuck? We're gonna get demonetized. I have my videos set for an Because of you. Because I can have a filter. I don't. Exactly. He couldn't even have a filter when we were at Sportsman's Warehouse yesterday. I did too. No, you didn't. thinking about it now, aren't you? I did. Not very, not very long. For as long as you weren't talking to me, you had a filter. As soon as you started talking to me, you had your filter broke like a motherfucker. <laughs> you know it's true, too. Oh, my God. What do I think we're going to do? We're going to put the podcast on hold. The podcast is off of hold. Yeah, we had to hold it for a minute. <sighs> what other stupid things have I done? Fell through the river. Yeah. You guys know that story. Um, <laughs> this was stupid, but at the same time, it benefited me. Um, when we were hunting, uh, it was the day before I got my deer, Mr. Shady. It was before I got Mr. Shady. Um, we were hunting, and um, Ethan, Rod, and Chris got theirs. So it was okay. just me and my dad yeah. left, and we decided, hey, we'll come back tomorrow. So that we can see if we can get anything tomorrow. Right. right. And so uh, we go and we're hunting, or we were leaving, we were going back, and I was fucking tired out of my mind because we woke up at three o'clock in the morning and we went out and we started walking at fucking 3 45. And so it's like noon at this point. Right. So we start leaving, and I was I was sitting on the back of the four wheeler because my dad didn't have access to both the four wheelers yet. Right. And so. We're riding. And I fucking fell asleep on the back of the four-wheeler while my dad is driving it. <laughs> oh. It was, I don't know how I got comfortable or how I fell asleep while I'm sitting like this having a bunch of bumps go off. But, <laughs> but I apparently fell asleep and pretty easily too. And then we got back to the truck and I woke up. I got in the truck and I immediately passed back out. <laughs> and we came out the next morning and that's when I got Mr. Shady. Nice. Who was standing... From it was about I want to say thirty yards from us, Mr. Shady. Yeah, Mr. Shady's been the name since the beginning, bro. Don't you keep oh up with the videos? God, yes, I do. <clears throat> I'm gonna get another. I'm just gonna name all of my dead animals. <laughs> Shall we tell them about what we're doing? I thought it was in two weeks. weeks? Nah. We'll leave yeah, that a surprise. surprise. Yeah. <clears throat> That's gonna be fun. Yeah. That is the sound of Stegosaurus. Why did you put shotgun shells together? Because I'm sexy and Were you that bored? You <clears throat> YouTube monetization. YouTube monetization. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was that bored. <laughs> I fell asleep. Uh, so, that was that. And then the next day we got Mr. Shady and my dad's deer, actually. So, that helped. Nice. And, yeah, that was that. Uh, Ethan's dumbass, the first day we were there, we wandered off and we went up onto, like, big, big, big ridge. Right. And he was looking down. He's like, yo, there's a big deer. I'm going to shoot it. I was like, you shoot it. I'm making you go down there and get it. He's like, I don't know how I get down or back up. I'm like, exactly, so don't shoot it. And as we were running back, this uh, he apparently has a very, very, very itchy trigger finger. We were running, and a rabbit ran in front of us, and he shot at the ground because it scared him. Oh, my God. And so I told him, I'm like, you pull that trigger one more time, I'm going to shove you off the ridge. <laughs> it's like the, the spot at camp. Shove your asshole friends into the lock. Yeah. 
<laughs> push your asshole training ground slash push your asshole friends into the water. Yep. That's what it's called. That's what it will always be called. Yep. I'm gonna put a sign up saying, "Training training ground slash push your asshole friend into the water." <laughs> you know you can make that in Devers. I know. We should totally do that. And I'll make a rebar <laughs> post for it. Just hang it on a tree. Good fucking point. I'm gonna label the trees in camp. Tree one. No, tree, another tree, third tree, central tree. We gotta make one of them our knife throwing tree. <laughs> just that's just any of them. That's mainly the central tree though. Can I go yell at her? No. Her music is so <clears throat> loud and gay. I don't care. She sounds like she's got the autism. <clears throat> now, what about your stupid experiences? Boy, you were there for a lot of them. What about the ones I wasn't there for? Like getting that dick showed in your ass. No, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> uh, I think the dumbest thing I've ever done was lit my hand on fire. I lit Tegan's head on fire. <clears throat> I figured. Yeah, I, I feel like you need insight to this. Yeah, I do. Um, we were playing with fire in the garage because we that Josh had a thing of lighter fluid, and you move my fucking. Hold on. Hand, you don't get the knife. <clears throat> I'm not taking that. So knife. Josh had a thing of lighter fluid, and it was full. It was one of the big containers, you know. Right. So we were making things out of fire. I made a heart out of fire, and I made a trail of fire. We were making our initials out of fire. And then I lit one of the fires, and there was a cloth sitting underneath it. And Tegan grabbed the cloth out and threw it up in the air. And I caught it, and I tossed it. It landed on his head, and I pulled it off, and his head was on fire. <laughs> I put his head out. <laughs> and then he just kind of sat there, and he's like... <gasps> you, you heard about the whole Xander Black thing, right? Ooh. Guess that's why you don't fucking huff gas, isn't it? Um, and then another one of the times I lit his hand on fire and he couldn't put it out. <laughs> we were using axe and we were making flamethrowers. And I I put the sprites on my hand and I lit it to make a little fireball on my hand mm -hmm. and then I put it out. And then Tegan did it, but he put too much on his hand and it dripped onto the back of his hand too. So I lit it and he went like this, but it <laughs> wouldn't go out. <laughs> so he just threw his hand under the water. Yeah. There, the way I started my hand on fire, I was being dumb and I dipped my hand into a fucking can of oil. Like brand new motor oil. Nice. And I was like, hey, is this shit flammable? And I fucking lit it on fire. You couldn't have dumped a little bit out and lit that on fire first to see if it was flammable? Nope, I had to test it straight on my hand. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> and then, let, little do we know, or little did we know... I was going to be going to the hospital for a little bit just to get my hand, like, better. Because my hand was, like, literally... If you've ever seen Child's Play, what is it, 3? Where Chucky explodes? He explodes in, like, all of them. That's true, but where they sh shove the plastic... That's 2. Yeah. Child's Play 2, where Chucky's hand literally like, blew up and he was all melted and shit. That's, like, what my hand looked like. It was bad. Should I pour molten plastic on you? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then stick an air tube in your mouth till you explode? <laughs> what? What? No. Boy. No. Punch him in the face. Or my sunglasses, you little bitch. <laughs> oh! Shit! So, yeah! That was that, was that time. Um... What about the time when, um... Yeah, I left uh, those in my bag last night. Oh, what about the time when, um... I was an idiot. You're always an idiot! <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> uh, me and Tegan, when we had our BB guns, when we had steel BB guns, oh, uh, we had a war in the field. And, uh... We, we did it a few times in the day. He shot me in the spine. He shot me in the shoulder. Shot me in the ass twice. And then uh, we decided we were going to do it in the middle of the night. We did it in the middle of the night. Why would you do it in um, the middle of the night? I used 
his rifle, which still had a scope on it at that time. And I, I saw the laser just out of the, my, out of the corner of my eye. So I'm like, hey, Tegan, shine the laser my way. So he shines the laser my way and I pull the trigger. I thought I was going to hit him in the chest or something because I figured he was like this. Right. But no, I hit him in the head. Headshot. <laughs> I just hear him yell, ow. I just hear him yell, ow, and then collapse. <laughs> <laughs> then he, I, I run over to him and he's laughing, holding his head. He's like, you hit me in the head. <laughs> I mean, we can tell him about our future plans with <laughs> airsoft nah, guns. Nah, because that's disclosed information that can be surprises for later. That's what I did throw. Oh, we have hit 25. Shall we go until 40? We Are shall you go until 40. crazy? We shall go until 40. Because I don't give a fuck about going into school. I do. I do. Why? Because I'm going to get in trouble. The bell doesn't ring till 45. Oh, that's true. And we usually don't go inside till 45. You have 25 pennies here, right? I don't know. Why? Because I want to piss off the front office ladies. You're an asshole. This is why I don't bring him places. That's exactly why he doesn't bring me places. One. <clears throat> this is why whenever this is why when we went to buy the hair dye, I didn't bring him. No, he was thinking about it. But then I decided I don't want to wait for your dumbass to have a day off. We're just gonna go now. <laughs> right. Ah! Oh, <gasps> day glow. No. Snort it. No. That's in here from when I was sick because I didn't want to take it, so I just put it in the couple. Yeah, I remember that. Alright, alright, let's see. One, two, I can count, can't I? Nope. Three, four, five. You're an asshole. Shall we get ready to end the podcast? to see what time it is. 37. So, that's going to do it for today's podcast. I'm going to purposely cut it short and not go to a half an hour just to piss the editor off. So, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, that's the podcast for today. Um, peace out. This was With the Boys. With the Boys.